Hey guys, it's Jamie Duff, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. It's Monday. We're home and we are making dinner. We are making a lasagna stuffed chicken and we're going to have side salad left over from yesterday's salad, guys. I hope you've had a great day. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments as we finish up our or get our recipe together and in the oven. Guys, I've got my oven on 400 and we're making a lasagna stuffed chicken. If that sounds delicious, give me some hearts and share this video right now. I would love to know where you're watching from, guys. Right now, all we've done is take our chicken breast and we cut them on the top to uh, create like a pocket. And let me just tell you, when this pocket, uh, I thought I bought some thick chicken breasts, but these are not that thick. So I did not do that great of a job at cutting the chicken. I'm fixing to show it to you. If you have a really thick piece of chicken, it will take longer to cook, but it will actually make a pocket much easier than a thinner piece of chicken. So you'll see some of these, they actually are really, really thin. And they also are touching like it's cut open to the casserole dish. So no problem. What I'm going to do is cook them. I'm going to take my spatula and, dip, and uh, serve it right out of the casserole dish with my spatula. Y'all forgive me. I think I've had a crazy day. I can't even talk right. All right. <laughs> We've got our chicken ready. We are going to salt pepper the chicken, but with our seasoning. So we're going to make up a ricotta cheese sauce to go inside this, um, this uh, dish. So I've got one cup of ricotta cheese. I'm gonna do a half a cup of shredded Parmesan. I'm gonna do one egg, and we're gonna mix all this together and we're gonna put it inside the chicken. So I've got one cup of ricotta cheese, ooh, one egg, a half a cup of shredded Parmesan. We're gonna add our seasonings. I've got one tablespoon of Italian, and I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Oh, I'm not sure that's Italian. Ah, oh, I'm so glad I looked at that. I didn't think it looked like Italian as parsley. Let me put that back in there. <laughs> that would not have done good. That would have messed my whole recipe up. Be careful when you pull the seasonings out of your drawer when you're in a hurry. So we're going to do a tablespoon of Italian, not parsley. Now, one thing you can do is top your dish off with some uh, fresh basil or some fresh parsley. That would be delicious when it's finished. But a full tablespoon of Italian. Oh, man, it looks good. And let's do a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. How's that sound? You guys know I love Redmond's Real Salt, so we're using that salt. What you need to make sure you're doing is replacing your white table salt with a pink Himalayan salt or a good mineral sea salt like Redmond's, for example. So a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, okay. and let's get serious in mixing this all together. So I'm gonna do this as I'm mixing it. So we have the one egg, a cup of ricotta, half a cup of shredded Parmesan, one teaspoon of Italian, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. We're just gonna mix this together really, really well. And we're making our ricotta cheese sauce that's gonna go inside the chicken. So again, if you guys have thicker chicken, it makes a better pocket. It's okay if you don't. I've got my oven on 400, and we're gonna cook this for about 20 to 30 minutes. So it does take a little time to cook and that's okay because I've got some work I need to get done. All right, now this is looking really good. It's smelling really good. This is the ricotta cheese sauce. So now we're gonna take this ricotta cheese and we're gonna put it right into each of these chicken breasts. Now, I'll tell you right now, if you don't cut your chicken breast and you just use thin breasts, you can pile this right on top of your chicken as well. Doesn't have to go in whole as a matter of fact because this chicken did not cut really good for me. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stuff it in the hole, but then I'm gonna spread it over the top as well. So it's not gonna be beautiful, but that's okay. Definitely is not gonna be uh, the way I've cooked it before. Long time ago in the past, I had some really thick chicken. I made a mess. And I just stuffed it, but that's all right. It's a lasagna stuffed chicken or a lasagna layered chicken. How's that? <laughs> We'll say it can also be a lasagna layered chicken. Ooh, it's looking good, it's looking good. I hope you guys have had a great day. Let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight. That's low carb or keto friendly, I would love to know. Now you can also do less of this mix. You don't have to make it the exact same. You can do a half a cup of ricotta, a fourth cup of Parmesan. Make it your own. 
yeah, a half a tablespoon of, of Italian seasoning. So you can actually change this up to meet the needs of how many people you're cooking for and how thick your chicken is. I'm basically just, sorry, I know there's a lot of background noise. I'm just uh, making this up and smearing it over the chicken at this point. <clears throat> so we're calling it a lasagna stuffed chicken, because, but because this chicken was so little, we're just doing it layered up now. A lasagna layered chicken is what I'm calling it now. And what we'll do is when it finishes cooking, I will actually use a spatula to pick these right up out of the casserole dish. And that's all we're going to do. Oh, man, it looks good. It smells good. All right, let me show you what this looks like so far. Just a lasagna. <laughs> it's going to be a lasagna chicken. Thank you, babe. All right. And now we are going to... I'm trying to think. Now we're going to take this lasagna, this ricotta cheese mix. We're going to, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put the marinara on there. Hang on just one second for me, okay? <laughs> Alright, you guys there? Sorry, I had to check my notes because I couldn't remember what I do next. Which I'm sad. Alright, now we're going to take our marinara. I'm using a low-carb marinara. You guys know my favorite one is Rayos. You can use any low-carb marinara you want to keep this dish low-carb. It's 100% up to you. And what we're going to do now is just um, take this marinara and we're going to pour it over the chicken breasts. Again, we've done turned it into a layered chicken now instead of a stuffed chicken. So that's all we're going to do. You can use one to two cups of marinara. It's really up to you. I like my lasagna really saucy. And it is a lasagna stuffed chicken. So I just used one cup. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and add another cup. Or at least a half a cup. Let me grab out my next jar. That one just emptied out. Hi, Lucy. I always have backup to our favorite marinara. Now, when it's on sale, I always buy a couple of extras. If it's not on sale, guys, there's lots of other options. This is pretty expensive, the Rayos, but if you've ever tried it, you know it's worth it because there's no seasoning necessary to add. It's just super delicious <clears throat> to make with any Italian meal. So I'm gonna take this little spoon here. I'm gonna smear it a little bit. Yep, I know. And now we're gonna top it off with our mozzarella cheese. Now. Some people may cook this before they put the cheese. I'm not. We're just going to cook it all together. It's going to take about 30 minutes for it to get good and done. And look how pretty this is now. Again, we went from a chicken stuffed lasagna to a layered lasagna, but that's okay. It's going to be yummy. And let me get my mozzarella shredded up here. We're just going to shred up some mozzarella. 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 Oh. Whoops. Without making a mess, maybe. Hey, baby, you take that right there for me. Oh. That video and just record this for just a second. Mm. Okay, <laughs> that's good. That's good. I must knock you out. <laughs> Ricky is such a helper. I don't know why this ain't cutting really good. I guess because it's still cold. I usually take my cheese out and let it sit for a second. It shreds much better when you let it sit. Um, when it's cold right out of the refrigerator, it, it's harder to shred. But guys, I love to shred my own cheese when it's one of the primary ingredients to the recipe. So like if it's a casserole, I really like to shred my own cheese. Look at Ricky back there working, y'all. He's such a sweet man. Mm -hmm. Helping me do the dishes so I can get to work as soon as I pop this in the oven. Clean pool. Oh, yes. He cleaned the Wash pool. The he washed the dishes. Oh. He helped me with the puppy dogs. Mm -hmm. Now he's being like any other man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, wants, he wants me to thank him. Mm -hmm. All right. I do thank him quite often, just mm -hmm. so y'all know. Mm -hmm. Is that right? <laughs> I'm going to spend time with you, baby. No, I'm going to spend time with her. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ricky's trying to make me jealous over the new puppy dog. He's trying to steal her attention, and he knows, like, I'm madly in love with her, and I need the puppy love. That's why I got a puppy. I got the puppy because I need puppy love, and Ricky's trying to steal her. I ain't trying. He's trying to make her love him more. Uh, what do that <laughs> She's the cutest thing in the whole wide world. Okay, All right, guys, you can use as much or as little mozzarella cheese as you wish. This is your dish. I am using about a cup, and it looks fantastic at this point. So I'm going to stop. <laughs> Give me a little snacky snack of mozzarella cheese that's on the end. And I've got my oven on 450. So we now are going to take this and pop it right into the oven. And I'm going to look and see if you guys have any questions for me right now. Hey, you got your nose down, girl. Let me, Let me pop this in and I'm going to show you Frankie just in case you haven't met her yet. You got your nose down, girl. Let me something. Oh, what in the world? My oven's on. Are you kidding me? Nope. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's what you get for coming in and trying to throw the oven in. Lord mercy. It's a good thing I've got things to do because I turned the oven on and I didn't press start. 
So now we have a cold oven that's got lasagna in it. <laughs> it's going to take a little while. Come here, Frankie. Come here, Frankie Sue. Come here. Let's show you my friends just in case I haven't met you yet. This is little Frankie Sue. She is a sweet week. We named her Frankie Sue this weekend. It was just Frankie Dove, but now she's Frankie Sue. Frankie Sue Dove. She is the most precious little angel. She's a little miniature schnauzer, and I have fallen madly in love with her. I just needed some puppy loving because I visited some friends that I hadn't seen in a long time, and they had a puppy, and then my daughter got a puppy, my son got a puppy, and I was like, okay, it's my turn. I got to get a puppy. Hey, sweet, sweet girl. Where's my sweet, sweet girl? Ain't her just precious, y'all? Aww. Okay. Let me see if you guys have any questions for me. Just ignore my dirty kitchen behind us. One thing I want to make sure I tell you guys is that I am starting a challenge. We are doing, if I get this thing, move over here. We're doing a challenge together come March the 20th. I don't know. I can't move it. We're doing a challenge together come March the 20th. And if you would like information on that challenge, just put challenge in the comments, challenge in the comments, so that I can send you information on the challenge. Oh, I know. She's so sweet, y'all. She really is the sweetest little thing. Let me look and see if there's any questions. The challenge, guys, is super easy. We're actually going to use the challenge box to create a challenge 20 days. What we're going to do is so easy. We're going to drink ketones two times a day. We're going to eat two low-carb meals with an eating window from 12 to 8. We're going to move our body. I'm going to give tips. We're going to share recipes. We're going to make it super fun and easy. There's going to be door prizes. We're going to have lots of fun. But there's only there's less than 15 weeks till the summer. Like, summer is almost here, and I don't know about you guys, but I need to kickstart uh, my, um, my mind into summer shorts. <laughs> and not that it matters what you look like in your summer shorts, but you still have to have a little bit of confidence. If you're like me, I mean, you might not have this issue, but I always have struggled with a little bit of confidence, especially in the summertime. Not that I want to be a size two, but I still want to feel confident in myself when it's summertime and our bodies are less covered. And more than that, I just want to feel great. Uh, I love confidence over size. I love the fact that I have more energy over size. I love the fact that I can sleep better over size. But guys, if you're looking for a challenge, if you want to join a group, make sure you put challenge in the comments so I can send you information. If you're already a customer and you got your ketones, you already got what you need. I just want you to join the group so that we can do it together March the 20th. And if you are new and you don't have ketones, you definitely got to get some. So put challenge in the comments so I can send you information and make sure I got have you guys inside the group for the challenge. It's going to start on March the 20th. So we've got time. Oh, Carol said that's a lot of chicken. It was a lot of chicken, Carol. I got a big man. He loves to eat. He'll probably eat two pieces of that chicken, if not three, because I'm doing a side salad. And Ricky's not big on side salads unless it's fresh and I cooked it yesterday or I cut it up yesterday. And I know my husband. He's going to be like, nah, I'll just eat the chicken. So I knew better. <laughs> I'm definitely going to enjoy a side salad and hopefully Ricky will with me. Uh, let's see. It is an easy, easy, delicious dinner. Leftover steak with oven roasted asparagus. Yummy, Sarah. Uh, Terry, great. I will check my messages. I had a really busy day at work today, so I have not checked my messages. I t definitely will be getting to them next. Um, Tampa, Florida. Hey, Del Delilah. Uh, let's see. He knows the way around the kitchen. Yes, he does, Beverly. He definitely does that. Um, yep, little Frankie. She's a sweetie, sweetie. Uh, oh, a little bit. He's in here. Oh, Grumpy Walter. His nickname is Walter. Uh, actually, he has like several names. So, Little Bit, Bit, Bit. His name, his official name is a Little Bit. So, Little Bit, Little Bit, 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 Walter, Booger Bear. Uh, what else? Boo Boo. <laughs> That's Little Bit's names. He is my sweetheart. He is my oldest one in the house. He is going to be 13 this year. And uh, our little Ellie Mae, she is going to be six this year. It's crazy. And then we got a new little baby. All right, guys. I'm ready for the challenge. I see that. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm ready for the challenge, too. I am 100% ready because I love to really get focused during the summer and just feel my very best. Because in the, tra in the summer, we have a lot of pool days. We have a lot of beach days. Of course, we have traveling for vacations. Like, you just want to be in the best spot before the vacation season hits. Just so that when you are going on vacation... It doesn't kill you to have something off keto or off low carb because your body is already set in motion and your body really gets accustomed to what we're doing. It's called fat adaption. If you're new to keto or low carb, fat adaption is a real thing. And basically what it means, guys, it's really simple. It sounds complicated, but it's really easy. When your body becomes fat adapted, your body knows how to process 
the carbs out like your body wants to be ran on ketones your body wants that better clean fuel source so when you eat a carb you can actually get back into ketosis much quicker so I don't recommend carbs all the time but if I was going out to a celebration this weekend and I am fat adapted which means generally four to six weeks, no carb overloads. Like if your keto is a big deal to, to really keep your carb counts really, really low. But your body, when you're when you put that carb filled food in your mouth, <laughs> your body is like, whoa, what is that? Where'd that come from? I hadn't had that in a long time. And you can either feel sick because you haven't had that sugar or that large amount of carbs for a long time, or your body can say, hmm, well, that's okay. I haven't had this in a long time. Let me process it through. And your body is gearing up and ready for the ketones. Your body needs that fuel source. It wants the fuel source. So fat adaption, honestly, is just a consistent fueling of the body with ketones so that when you introduce a carb, your body doesn't go into shock. Your body actually can process it pretty quickly. And I don't recommend junk food or carb-filled foods all the time. But once you have been become fat adapted, it's not as hard on your body when you do decide to do that. So anyway, I, that's probably confusing. <laughs> I was trying to make it simple. But anyway, we want to get geared up for the summer so that we are fat adapted. Usually it takes anywhere from six to eight weeks to get fat adapted, sometimes longer. Just depends, but we all know that when you want to change something, you want to be consistent with the change, right? If you eat low carb all week and then blow it on the weekends and low carb all week and then blow it on the weekends, your body never adapts to anything. It just kind of stays in a confused state. It doesn't know what in the world to do. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. We want to be consistent in the way that we're moving our lifestyle. Kelly says, so I've been back on keto since the 1st of January. In January, I focused on getting back on keto and focused on my lifestyle. February, I made a point to make sure I was getting enough water and paired it with my diet. So March, I got a trainer and added in some... It went away. I don't know what you added in, but that sounds amazing. That sounds so good, Kelly. You're doing great. Burned. Sorry, bummed that early. Um, so March, I got a trainer and added in some. Oh, it ended early. <laughs> that's okay, Kelly. Go ahead and finish what you're saying. I think that's awesome. You're doing a great job. But when I was saying this, just being consistent in whatever you're going to do. It doesn't have to be keto. You can live low carb. You can do keto. I do a versatile keto where I'm primarily keto, but I also some days will have more carbs to more of a low carb uh, standard. Uh, Dewana started back on February 2nd and now down 26 pounds. Oh, that is so good. So good. Congratulations. I really want to make sure I know how you're feeling, though, without focusing on a scale because so many people are not going to see that, see that same scale success as you are, and they're going to think they're doing something wrong or they're going to think that uh, what they're doing is not right. So instead of focusing on the scale, which is amazing, congratulations. Tell us a little bit about how you're feeling since February. Are your clothes fitting better? Like, do you have more energy? Are you sleeping better? Like, those are all really, really important things. Yes, yeah, she's feeling fantastic. That's awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to jump off here and start cleaning up this kitchen. If I can help you with anything, just send me a message. I will get back to all of you guys that put challenge in the comments. If you want to join the challenge or get information on it, just put challenge in the comments. It's going to start on March the 30th. I'm super excited for it. Guys, if this meal sounded good and you get simple, delicious recipes for me, press share. Let's make sure we share these. Here comes Kelly. She added in some exercise. However, after I ate two days, I work out, I get really sick. Like tonight, I had a ribeye and roast cabbage, and now I feel terrible. What could that be? Uh, I wouldn't think it's keto flu because keto flu, I mean, keto flu doesn't come like three months in. It actually would come like days in even a week or a week and a half in because some people actually take you know anywhere from six to eight days to get into ketosis and then the keto flu would hit so i wouldn't think that at all kelly that's kind of strange so let me go back to your other message back on keto since january in january i focused on getting back on keto focus on my lifestyle february i made it to a point to make sure i was getting enough water and paired it with my diet so march i got a trainer and added in some exercise however after i eat on the days i work out I get really sick. Hmm. Maybe you need some electrolytes, Kelly. Are you having electrolytes? Because if you're working out and, you, and you're and you eating low carb, you definitely have to or replenish your electrolytes. So I'm just curious, are you using a really good electrolyte supplement? I recommend the Mitoplex because it's an upgraded electrolyte. It's got awesome ingredients for much more than just hydration. But I would definitely recommend a really good electrolyte. And you can have one or two a day. 
Susan says, scale isn't huge, but my clothes are feeling better. A1C 5.9. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Susan. Rhonda says she's walking, trying to get back on track. I had 130 pounds, but now it's really hard to move, to lose more. You uh, had 130 pounds, but now it's really hard. Rhonda, I'm not sure if you're saying you are at 130 or you've lost 130, but um, definitely you can keep moving. If your body has more to lose and you want to lose it, you certainly can. Um, send me a message, Rhonda, so I can talk to you about how to break a stall. But the question before you even send me a message is, are you really in a stall? Because a true stall is no movement on the scale or inches or inches. So are you measuring no movement on the scale or inches for four or more weeks? So it's a full month with no movement. Then you can say you really truly hit a stall and I've got some advice for you. So send me a message if that is your case. If not, keep on trucking because your body is not always going to change every single week. Uh, do you keep track of total daily carbs? I keep track of daily net carbs, Tammy. That's how I track my progress and my lifestyle is just counting carbs alone. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off. You have an awesome night. If I can help you, send me a message. and I'm going to clean this kitchen up and hopefully get this oven hot. <laughs> All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.